What's up, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. Shout out to all the subscribers and all that good stuff. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. So today, we are on our way to a new sneaker store here in Augusta, Georgia. Um, Black on. And um, we're going to see what they got, man. If those of you don't know, I'm a lover of sneakers. Been a lover of sneakers for however as long as I can remember. Don't buy them as much as I used to, but still a lover nonetheless. But we're going to pull up on... The store's called Assist. Called Assist, I think, like, past Assist. But, yeah, we're going to pull up on them and see what they got, man. I'm sure I'll see some familiar faces in there. You know what I'm saying? Get to chop it up with some folks, and uh, I'm going to let y'all see what we got. Yeah, get in the beam, man. Anyway, but yeah, man, we're going to pull up on assist and uh, see what, what's cracking over there, man. I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm, I really enjoy when um, supporting black business, you know what I'm saying? I love to see our culture bring in uh, more opportunities to the community and all of that. So I def it's only right that we go check them out, you know what I'm saying? Look up the address to this motherfucker. And we're off. Head northwest on Thornberry Drive. Alright. So we off. Hey, look. I don't want my camera bouncing everywhere, so I'm going to check in with y'all as we get there. Alright. So we just pulled up to the stove. Assist. It's right over here to my left. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go in and pop in. Small little spot, but you don't need a, a big spot to have a lot of success. So we're going to walk in. We're going to check them out. See what's cracking. There he is. What's up, what's up? I'm gonna come right back in there. Let me walk to the car with him real quick. For sure, for sure. Verlin, what's up? What you making something into? What's up, what up? You all right? Oh yeah, man. How about you? I'm good, I'm good, man. Good. Out here vlogging and shit, you know. Man. Right now we out here at Assist. You know what yep, I'm saying? Yeah, getting it in. Appreciate Grand it. opening. Had to come support black business, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate had it. to, had to. Tell the people your name. Call man, call man. One one four for fifth, you know what I'm saying? Assist. I hit Augusta also the owner of Declare. You know, just out here trying to get it in, trying to bring Gus to a new a new something, something different. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure, something for different. sure. That's it. I mean shit. I always like to see us bring our money back into our own community. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Make our own dollars instead of somebody else's. Fact. <laughs> you're, trying, you're trying to do it the right way. For and sure. Actually, like I say again, give them it's plenty of consignment shops around, you know what I'm saying, people selling. You know, stuff that you've seen before, but we're trying to give you a taste of stuff that you've heard about and maybe seen online, but not actually seen in person. So right, 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 right. So they come check us out. They're definitely in for a treat. For, for sure. And that's 4387 Ridge Trail yes, in Augusta, Martinez, Georgia, to be specific. But yeah, man, I had to come out. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. I'm sorry, not I'm not going to 
What'd you get? I know you were itching to spend some money. Oh my lord, what do you ever He goes through bringing me $600 pairs. I was watching it. And the crazy part is, like, half of them, he probably had the chance to just have yeah. outright anyway. Before, you, know? you wouldn't even know he had it. Oh, yeah. Like them beaver crocs, he brings them over. I'm like, Sophie got her bear. He didn't want his bear. So they're sitting up there. You never asked me for no. a bear. <laughs> Right. You're right. I probably did. But you know, you're right. Them jobs been sitting, yeah, they've been sitting Listen, upstairs for like. If I had access to all that stuff, it would have been. <laughs> but no chance. You would have to come get them out of my closet. <laughs> and they, 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 Man, what's up? Congratulations. Oh thank you, thank you. Tired, man. Tired, tired. Yeah? Yeah, boy. Stayed up, got this money, though. Hey, that's what it's about, man. The hustle oh been God. real, man. Yeah, what you been doing with it? Man, vlogging, doing a podcast. I seen you. Know you. Yeah. Because I've experienced that as a retail manager. It's like, look, we talking about winter. In, in spring. In spring, yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We up here, we, we looking at designs for the fall now. That's why you know I'm telling, what I'm telling Rich. He was like, man, I need you to make me some shirts. I say, Rich, if you really want to do this shit, we got to do this right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right fucking now. You know, yeah. to do it the way I want to do it with manufacturing. Because yeah. there's a time, man. I, I, time. I, I have nothing against anybody that do screen print or make their own stuff. But when you put on the class shit, I want you to notice the detail yeah. of what I do. I'm yeah. picking out every fucking piece of material, every goddamn thread, everything. I guarantee you it ain't going to be nothing like somebody else's sweatshirt or t-shirt or whatever case and, and to me that's that's what separates price points yeah, you, you know what i'm saying well, why is that gucci t-shirt 150 dollars compared exactly. to the same a t-shirt that might look just like it but you paid ten dollars for it you know, that's the thing wall. that's the thing you know what i'm saying like it, i wash it one time the vinyl yeah. peel and it's some or, or it starts shriveling or it starts shrinking in them weird mm -hmm. places and stuff like yeah, that yeah you, you get the drunk collar yeah you know? if you if you look at your shirt that i gave you yeah I get you one too you look at your shirt and I gave you, and you start to understand why that fabric is the way it is. Into the L.A., into the all that. I know you told me, but my dad, I wasn't even know what near established how I wanted to be where I wanted to be at before it's, that. It's, but now I got a little, little experience on my belt. I'm definitely Don't get me wrong. Right. It take money to do certain shit, bro. But it ain't a lot of money. Yeah. That I, think that would my, I think that'd be my problem. That Vegas yeah. shit free. Yeah. All you gotta do is pay for your room. Like that shit free. And I'm, I mean, you walking in there brushing shoulders with. I think the first time I went, I met a uh, Fat Joe, Soldier Boy. What's the What's the black uh, dude that was on um, the little skateboard show? Oh, White Big dude. Big Bang oh, Black. Robin Big, Robin Big Black, Big, something black, like that. Black, black, Big Black. Yeah. But the black guy that was doing like the DJ, he was operating oh, the, the yeah, TV yeah. shit. Oh, 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 yeah. oh um, what's, what's his wrong. DJ's name? Um, I can't think of it, but he's a stylish dude too. Up. But he had his own brand. I met them cats oh. in there, and, and you'll be surprised at them cats coming up to you for your style. That shit blew my mind, man. I mean, that shit and and that's dope, like, because it reminds me of how, like, Brandon Jennings' journey. Oh, oh. This motherfucker you know ran so hard. Talking about uh, tough crap. Tough crap. I don't wore this shit Bro. for three months. And I swear ain't nobody noticed, ain't nobody, don't nobody know what it is, but man, this motherfucker. Him and, um, uh, and I found Shaq, out about it because they're on the son. Joe Button podcast. That's mm -hmm. how I found out about it because he used to wear it all the time. Tough crowd. Yeah, yeah. Shaq, oldest son, he ain't he ain't gifted with the whole basketball oh, thing. Out. Sharif, My, uh uh, Miles. Miles. Oh, Miles. Yeah. This motherfucker's so fashionable, bro. Yeah, he do. I thought I it was Miles. <laughs> 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 I knew that was you, Tyree. Oh, what's up, my boy? Go ahead. What's happening? Say more. Say more. I'm going to get on the call. I think it's going to go for a minute. Hi. 
I'm already. I'm about to start. I'm about to start posting. I'm about to get a lot of the shoes we got. Well, my name is Tyree Williams, owner of Crack Phone and Gadget Repair, located at 2062 Gordon Highway. Uh, we open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. We repair all types of electronics, uh, cell phones, tablets, laptops, TVs, game systems, you name it. We sell cell phone service. We offer accessories. We'll also be opening up a second location real soon, too, so be on the lookout for that as well. And also make sure you come through and check out Assist. And come check out you some shoes. I just got me some cool Travis Scott merch. So, uh, you know, oh, yeah, most definitely. So come check them out when you get a chance. Now they got some really cool stuff and a nice selection. Yo, yo, yo. So, man, I hope y'all enjoyed. Assist, man. Great store. Had a chance to meet some of the owners Brad, Rich, Carl. Man, my boy ran into some good friend, Verlin. Got yeah, my boy, Tyreek. And this is what solidifies me doing this uh, vlogging thing, man. Because if I wouldn't have brought my camera, there were so many people black business owners, young people, young entrepreneurs that I ran into in just this little bit of time that I'd have missed the opportunity to get some get some shine to, you know what I'm saying? So I think this is solidifying that I'm going to keep this shit up, man. I got to. We got to for the culture, you know what I'm saying? But look, I'm driving. I ain't trying to get in an accident or some stupid shit, but I'm going to check back in with y'all when I get to my next destination. Peace.